सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू डी सी ईस्ट यूनिवर्स योर वन स्टॉप शॉप फॉर ऑल न्यूज रिलेटेड टू डी सी एंड दिस इज अपॉयलर एंड नॉन स्पॉयलर रिव्यू ऑफ द मूवी सेक्स नाइट जस्टिस लीग वी विल फर्स्ट गिव द नॉन स्पॉयलर रिव्यू एंड देन आई विल मैंशन वेन द स्पॉयलर स्टार्ट एंड देन आई थिंक यू शुड लिव द वीडियो इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच द मूवी येट सो दिस मूवी रिलीज इन बी एम एस इन इंडिया एंड ऑन एच बी ओ मैक्स Uh, in uh, america and uh, at different hbo uh, rentals and videos uh, streaming services over the world and i just want to say i have watched the movie twice uh, yesterday and i am just mesmerized by the version the way they have created the story the story arc the connection it's filled more it's uh, filled with more of the logical senses and logical scenes that were sh- sh- uh, shot by zack snyder for the movie and then josh wizen came on the board and uh, he reshooted those scenes and the version they released in 2017 for the theatrical versions that's the version which where where we have got some uh, discontinuity in the storyline that's the reason that movie don't connect with the audience much but in this movie you can see that there are a very good connection which will also connect with the hearts of audience and everything is justified every story every line how the team comes together why they come together how they form a unity and these are the things that makes this movie a masterpiece and i just want to share share my uh, share my concerns or my uh, similar uh, thoughts about the movie reaction but before that i just want to say that uh, with me there is another member of this uh, community or our youtube channel shrirup shah and uh, he will also like to share his thoughts because he is also a part of this uh, movie and he has also wanted, uh, watched uh, this movie with us and uh, after that we will definitely uh, continue our spoiler review so if you haven't watched the movie till now so you can definitely stop the video right here and then we will go into the spoiler from the next time shobhi thank you for introducing me shovik and i would like to tell the audience that the story which was released on 2017 was really different this is not that thing if you watch this justice league you your mind will blow away this is another version something overall the story is related but not the whole thing you will be surprised to see how everybody is mentioned is in the story the great villains like dark side and stephen wolf and man wonder man superwoman and batman are really special and amazing they have built a really good story line with all the characters growing up and some of the villains like stephen wolf and uh, dark side is really awesome the vfx and the, the editing have part worked, the cgi part they have done is fantastic and when we you will see the movie you will feel that the dark side was actually real it was a real alien who have come from other earth uh, apocalypse and uh, he is standing there and you can think and also you will believe that he is a menacing superhero and a big threat even the stephen wolf he looks he looks really evil and a big threat for the uh, team and a very powerful villain uh, to handle by all of the team members except uh, that of uh, superman Yes surely that was my point the vfx artist and the editing group did a great work all the superheroes all the scenes and the mainly the dark side was looking so real so real and it was amazing all the superheroes gathered together and they fight stephen wolf and the dark side but not really the dark side because dark side has not yet come if you will see the movie you will understand that what happened this movie is a very good master masterpiece you can say that uh, one can actually the back story the story arcs for stephen wolf and desad and the way they connect to dark side the way the ages of hero storyline was shown that was fantastic and it will give you the reason the it will logically make you understand why they have come for the mother boxes and why they want to take control of this earth because of the anti life equation they have found hidden in the this planet and they want to take over this because they want to have the powerful uh, anti life equation so that dark side will become the biggest and menacing 
leader of the or ruler of the world because he has already ruled hundred thousands of worlds and you can see here the look of day strokes uh, from the nightmare and the nightmare version the epilogue part uh, was in the epilogue part of the movie that was the seventh part and you can see in this nightmare version there there will be joker day stroke and mira they were all uh, looking fantastic and different from actually the timeline where they belong to and now shiru will again continue and explain how he feels about the movie yes i feel very good and uh, shovik has said an important part that in the last part of 2017 you did not understand why the story line was like that why they were collecting the mother boxes but this time you will see why the reason behind which the mother boxes have been on earth and why they are collecting and in the nightmare scene the flash mera batman joker death stroke and everybody even looks even in the nightmare scene you can see the flash in the flash shoot which was actually uh seen in bbs when flash ran back in time and you can see how the scene from bbs and uh, justice league will connect each other yes the scenes of justice league and bbs connects it, uh, each other and if you see the first scene of the movie you will understand that it is not a breakdown part it is a continuation and because the last movie was there it has been more equivalent to that level yeah and i think that uh, from this perspective if they want to connect uh, canon the both the version the theatrical version of uh, justice league directed by josh whedon and uh, this version of zack snyder justice league i think they can canon both the thing in the continuity with the ceu because there was a part where flash ran back in time in the speed of light and he changes the reality and i think this is the way they have ended the movie also in the uh, 2017 theatrical version when Fla- flash was uh, racing against uh, superman and i think when sh- he starts running he can also change the alternative time timeline and creates a new timeline where this justice league movie will take place and this is my theory and i think the warner bros should officially retcon this and should uh, actually uh, make this theory uh, reality and should uh, canon both the version to dcu that's the best thing and we are definitely wants uh, the snyder verse to be re- restored and we want uh, jl2 and jl3 uh, to come because there are lots and lots of easter egg which are here held and uh, shown basically in the cyborg's nightmare vision where he saw lois lane dying in the arms of uh, superman and uh, he also saw that evil superman has came to destroy the world and dark side is now controlling him so these are the things which we want to see and the story to grow uh, with time so we are very excited for that thing and now shiru we continue yes we, i am always excited and especially the flash part every scene of flash was super amazing the entry till the end like the uh, the way he moved the slow motion part the slow mo part it was amazing he just touched something and it was breaking and oh my god what a music. vfx and what a background music and i just like that part that flash he took something while he was Order. walking at the speed of light then uh, we have the spl- flash time back suit it was amazing the suit each and every design was amazing and we have got that information that and the scene was shoot shot from the a zoom call while they were away from each other and uh, i just want to mention here that in the theatrical version we don't see the p- perfect story or arc or origin for cyborg and flash but in this version you will just love the way they have been characterized and you will just uh, connect b- totally with both of them the cyborg and uh, flash and i think uh, to me and my brother shiro uh flash is one of the best uh, and favorite character of uh, ours now after this movie and you guys will also love the character of flash the way it is being uh, shot and uh, the way th- he has been given his character arc and also cyborg his story with his father was very emotional and it made her very proud and uh, now i just want to say that there this movie is actually six part the part 1 part 2 part 3 and part 4 and part 6 they, these are all the parts you can see mentioned on the screen and then we have the epilogue part the epilogue part where the uh, different easter eggs the nightmare scenes were actually shot so all in all we we'll both love the movie and for me the rating of this movie is 10 out of 10 because i think this is a spectacular dc spectacle which we always wanted to see as a fan yeah truly jack snyder did a great job directing it and it was a movie it is a movie that makes one man more uh, 
more affectionate and all in all my rating is 10 upon 10 as Shovik because it was a spectacular movie and I love to watch it and if you guys have not seen it please go and see it you will surely get enjoyed and until next time if you like our video please like share and subscribe the channel and do comment and tell us what we uh, have to do next time and for DC forever and now a special gift for all the audience and viewers and lovers of this channel you can see we both have been mentioned by one of the top critics of America Grace Randolph and Luis Fernando and they have literally liked our post yesterday from her Twitter and Grace has also mentioned us on his Twitter account and I think our pictures will be uploaded in his version of movie math this Sunday so don't miss those um, things and always support Grace Randolph because she is a very uh, high rated critic from uh, Hollywood and she is also a very successful YouTuber and we are very excited to be uh, featured by her in her channel so I just want to say thank you to everyone for the support and if you want to join our community please be there with us and until next time please like share and subscribe the channel and be with us and remember one thing DC forever and do comment on the video.